Welcome back to Round the Back of My Shed. This is a video starring this hunk of junk, the Solar Edge Optimizer, and why I don't think the safety hype is really worth very much. To put things into context, um, we look after about 20 megawatts of rooftop solar across the UK. Um, of which about two megawatts uses this stuff. This is a Solar Edge optimizer. Um, if you want to know about why they're completely pointless, um, go and have a look at the Gary Does Solar video. It's pretty good. Um, if you want to know why I hate them so much, it's primarily because these are constantly going wrong. We have approximately a failure per 50 kilowatts per year, um, and on a system where you have these that is working perfectly, they do produce maybe 2% more electricity than a standard string inverter. But the chances of you having a system where these are working 100% is just about zero. And I'll put some pictures up um, of, of what that looks like. One of the key selling features of SolarEdge is that if anything goes wrong with the system, if the inverter detects a fault, um, if, you're, if the system becomes disconnected, whatever, the output voltage of this drops to one volt. So if you have a string of 20 optimizers, you'll have a, a string voltage of 20 volts. Uh, now that is safe, uh, and that is a very good thing. However, one of the common failure modes of these um, is that they fail just as a straight uh, open circuit pass through um, and this was removed from a rooftop where two of these had failed and um, actually no that's a lie six of them had failed but by the time I got there one of my colleagues had replaced four of them um, but when I got there the uh, string was measuring 150 volts whilst it was off um, and that's because each of these had two modules connected to it. Um, they were around about 32 volt um, modules, 75 volts per pair, so 75 volts per optimizer, two failed optimizers, 150 volts. Um, this is rated at an input voltage. Uh, you almost certainly can't read this, but it's 12.5 um, to 96 volts input. Um, 10 and a half amps. This is a fairly old one, this is a, a, a 600 watt. Much higher capacity ones do now exist, um, but they all seem to fail in exactly the same way. Um, you've broadly got two lots of connectors here. These two little ones are your input, so your module or your pair of modules connects to those MC4s there. Um, you've then got two nice long ones and these interconnect from one optimizer to the next to make up your string. Um, one of the reasons I don't like these is you've got twice as many connectors to go wrong and get water in on the roof, and you've got an awful lot more changing brands of connector on the roof. Normally, you're not having very many changes of brands because it's um, you know one module to the next. They're factory made, the same brand, but yeah, whatever. So this is the output. Um, this is my uh, clamp meter, which you've seen before. I'm just going to connect the, he says, that's embarrassingly difficult. Uh, I'm just going to connect the output of the optimizer into the meter there. So that's just a straight through connection, which I will wedge there. Um, and then this is from my, um, I've got a grand total of two panels up on the roof, which is exactly what this is rated at, at dealing with. Um, so this is uh, measuring around about 85 volts, um, and just to be 100% clear, um, this is the input, the short cables are the, the input to the optimizer here, and if I connect that up, you can see straight away that the output of this optimizer, which should be the safe voltage of one volt 
is actually going straight up to 78 volts. Now, 78 volts is over the official touch safe voltage. Um, also, by the time you've got more than one failure, um, you can be well into the hundreds of volts uh, with these things. So one of their key safety things is be wise, optimize, because when you've got a system that's gone wrong, um, these drop down to a safe voltage of one volt. Well, I'm sorry, but that's a load of complete rubbish. Um, and because of the way these are designed, you've, you've also often got the, the strings just going straight into screw terminals um, at the bottom of the inverter. So you haven't even got a good way of separating the strings from each other um, and disconnecting them to work on them safely. Now, this system is designed with the MC4s that just go straight into the inverter. Um, so you have got an easy way of separating this string from any other ones you had in parallel. But with the Solar Edge system, you don't always have that. Um, and th the one um, that this came from had three strings all in parallel straight into spring clamp terminals in the bottom of the inverter. Um, and so, you know, it was nigh on impossible to uh, safely separate the strings from each other. Um, and there you go. Why I've said I will use these over my dead body in all future projects. Thank you.